Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. But you see the bad neighborhood, they won't, won't bring that to my neighborhood. They wouldn't dare do it. You wouldn't, they would not dare loiter and hang around and sell drugs in white neighborhood corners. They're not doing that. Because y'all have been trained to know better. That's why we, that's why we can't take that seriously. Because what you're going to do to the white man, you ain't going to do to us. Because y'all fear him. And we've seen it week after week. White women come over here, quiet. White man come over here, quiet. Big diesel white guy come over here, quiet. Everyone scatters. We over here, yo, mind your ass business, yo, I'll stab you. But when the white man was over here, disrupting the business, no one stabbed him. No one did anything to him. Right. Letting you know that there's cowardice among our people. Right. Cowardice. Give me Surah 37. And 11. Okay, go ahead. Surah 37, verse 11, what you got? Surah chapter 37, verse 11. Neither consult with a woman touching her of whom she is jealous. So the Lord is giving us advice on who not to deal with when it comes to certain ma all matters. The Lord's giving an example of who not to talk to or deal with in any matters at all, whether advice or counsel or anything at all. We don't. Neither with a coward in a matters of war. Neither what? Neither with a coward in matters of war. Don't consult with a coward in matters of war. No. We are out here, this is war. That's right. Spiritual warfare. Yeah. That's what this is. Our people are our enemies because we tell them the truth. So we are at war. So we cannot listen to cowards talk to us about anything. No matter at all. That's right. No matter at all. No matters. They're listening to you. I don't care what knives are thrown or drawn or swords. Don't, don't, don't listen to you at all. Making children throw bottles at us is cowardice. No! White folks got beef between your brains out in your face. White folks don't get white little kids. Hey, Jimmy, little Jimmy, go shoot that nigga over there. They do it themselves. Bring it out! But, but today, no. Go, little kid, you do it. Cowardice. Um, Beyond? No, with an envious man of thankfulness. Uh -huh. No, with an unmerciful man. Touching kindness! You got a question, brother? See your kids here, get your kids with you here. What do you know somewhat about? <laughs> <laughs> Not a question. Slave trade, you know why this shit happened? He's trying to do what he got. He's trying to do Mother has a question. She said, why does slavery happen? That should be a question all of us ask. Why does slavery take place? Are you, are you aware of, um, you know about Moses? You got it. Tell me about it. Tell me about Moses. Right. Deliver them from what? What do you say them from? Moses. Come on, forget it now. No, but Moses. Moses saved them from what? Moses saved them from what? Nothing. What did Moses save the people from? Go back from the destruction of what? Of their what? He saved Israel from what? From who? From the Egyptians. They were slaves in Egypt. Right? So now, when it comes to our people, especially, we have that religion, that religion sound over there? Sound, religion sound. No, read, man. I'm gonna read, look at that, look at that. Give me the double go there, quick, and chase something. Oh, 
I'm gonna bring it up. That's something I'm trying to take. Y'all look at that. I got you. Make sure you're sold with the pictures. See it right here? A majority of my brothers out here today that hustle, kill, murder, a lot of them were brought up in these little cities. Their grandmothers, grandfathers were brought up as Baptists, as Mormon, Seventh day Adventists, Jehovah's Witnesses, Pentecostal. I was Pentecostal. I was. But we also, we also have Catholic. But what do they all have in common here? Who founded these places? Who founded them? The crack. Yes, the crack. Like the crack of man that cracked the whip. Yes. The white man, yes. So called white man. He's the founder of all religions, right? Of all the main ones that exist today. So when he when he taught us out the Bible, put this back. What who do he teach us? Who do he teach us? You know what? He taught us this here. Oh, he taught us that guy right here. Yo. Yeah, so, so out here, out here in this very area, so our people worship this guy. I do you, know, you know how I know what they do? You know how I know what they do? You see it already? Right? Give me an example. You see My brother right? was still over here, right? See this here? See that? That's white Jesus. They worship that man. That's their God. That's who they serve. They believe when they die, they believe when they die, that's who they'll see. That's who they'll see. But our people, you examine Moses, Moses was a black man that was sent to save his people. But what happened, what happened was when he, when he was successful in that endeavor, he got destroyed. Or when he's successful in that endeavor, he took them out of, out of Egypt, right? And brought them into the wilderness. And in that wilderness, he gave them, they were given laws to abide by while in that wilderness. You understand? Uh, okay, let me get to it first. They were, they were in the wilderness, okay? They were given laws. 28 verse 1. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1. Watch this. And it shall come to pass that thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord will, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations on the earth. So the Most High said, keep my commandments, I will set you on high above all people upon the face of the earth. Listen, brother. Listen. I will set you on above, on high above all people upon the face of the earth. If you keep these commandments. Give verse 15. That's the upside. This is the downside. 15. Verse 15. And it shall come to pass, if that will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. He said, if you will not listen to me, if you break my commandments. Here we go, watch this. Read this here. Read, read a curse. Watch this. Curse. We're going to read, he said, curse You keep my commandments, I'll bless you. Put you on high above all nations upon the face of the earth. If you break my commandments, I will curse you. He will curse you. Watch this. Curse. In the Old Testament, being cursed includes loss of everything significant. Loss of everything significant. I'm right here, right there. Meaning what? Your identity, your knowledge of self, everything. your laws, no, your saw. life, your land, your power, everything will be lost. That's you right know? Right now. And lowering to the most menial of positions. According to what? Down to what? The most menial of positions. Down to the most menial of positions. Go ahead. The serpent must go ahead, go ahead. The serpent must crawl on his belly and eventually be crushed. You know? Nowhere in the Bible. There you go, right there. Curses are usually imposed by persons in authority for major breaches of the Torah that might threaten collapse of society. That might threaten collapse of what? Of their society. So we broke our commandments, those curses are generations. Let's sit down. Let's sit down. Right there. Down there, the Down there, Bobby. In the Old Testament, being cursed includes loss of everything significant Watch this. and a lowering to the most menial of positions. Watch this. The serpent must crawl on his belly and eventually be crushed. Cain can no longer fall in that Right here. Nowhere. Here. Nowhere in the Bible is the state of being cursed portrayed in more graphic terms than in Deuteronomy 28, 16 verses through 68. The curse follows its victims. The curse follows their victims. Go ahead. Everywhere. Everywhere. Philly. Jerusalem. Baltimore. Cali. New York. D.C. St. Louis. The curse is follow us everywhere. Go ahead. Extending to Extending down to who? 
kids. The kids. The kids. Go ahead. And all means of livelihood. And all means of livelihood. That's the ghettos, that's the slums, that's the filthy water in New York, Jersey, filthy water in uh, 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 Michigan. The most menial conditions. You understand? So, you know what?
from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.